today I am doing a vlog about how I prepare for my classes um, as you know I'm a teacher if you didn't know that by now you know I'm a teacher and most of my students are young learners so today I'm going to show you through how I prepare for my classes so like I said most of my students are young learners so that means I need to do a lot of preps I need lots of pro uh, props to make my classes successful so today I'll be preparing quite a lot of things I stick here um, I'll be preparing some props for days of the week colors of the days numbers of the day the weather for that day and the phonics later of the day the word of the day and the song of the week so this is how I do so today I'm going to organize my cards my story bowl so that will be a lot of cutting 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 and prep and prep and prep so before I start I will show you yeah I need to use this box that's recycling guys I'm going to use this box and that will be our storage box something that is accessible and something that I can always hear with as you know we are almost going back to school so yes this will come in handy as well as this one so to make it look nicer I'm going to use the wrap I'm going to wrap it like a cover it using the wrapping paper so it looks nicer and inviting yes and there'll be a lot of cutting and uh, a lot of uh, coloring as well so without further ado come along with me so we start with cutting forgive me guys as i started to cut i had to fast for this because it was gonna take longer so i started with cutting the days uh the weather as you can see that's the weather clips and um, we normally use this you just pull out according to the weather you can just show the students and they have to tell like how's the weather on that particular day so in our circle time we can actually stick these on the board so the students can choose which one is right which one best to describe the weather for that particular day and they can go to the board and stick it on the board um, as you see i had a little box a little bag that i'll keep it intact so they won't mix up now the next one i was gonna cut the parts of the day like greetings so good morning good afternoon good evening and good night is something that we teach the kids too so that they know how to greet depending on what time of the day is it uh, it is so I had to cut this one also in um, small uh, cards that would fit in the little plastic bag as well so you see I put it so by doing this I can actually it helped me to organize my flashcards and not mix up so anytime I want, I'm good to go. I want it and it's good to go. I can just pull it and, uh, you know, show to the kids and uh, we are good to go. So I continue to cut, cut. So for these ones, I didn't write anything on them. I just cut and put them in the little uh, plastic bag as well. And I will find something to put on those flashcards. So likewise, I'll just put them separately in the same bag and uniform, same color, same size, and I'll have plans for them as well. So as you see, I continue to put in the little bag, it's safe. I went ahead and cut another one much bigger uh, also, so I had to cut these ones. I came up with four of them. So the trick is make them in uh, the same size. So these ones are useful for questions, so like question cards. Um, they're useful for that. So you just pick or maybe question starters or stem sentences. It's all good. So that's for basically like uh, um, elementary school students. We normally use question starters. You ask me a question so they know like the WH question. So I put them in the same uh, bag as well for the future. So let's see, these ones had the uh, perfect thickness, so also good for question cards as well. And uh, the kids may not see what card you're holding, so it's perfect for question as well or for guess games like that. So I came up with three of them and I also put them in their own little box because they were the same perfect size. So 
Now, the next stage is to decorate our, so I had like uh, five little bags with me. I accomplished five little bags, although two of them are complete ready to use. Yep. And uh, three of them still blank, but we'll have something on them soon. Now, the next part was to label our, to decorate our box. So this box will be so useful because that's the box I'll be using to store my cards, my flashcards in and intact. So we have to make this box look so inviting that each time I pick it up, <coughs> The kids will be so excited and you know it's not boring and you know most kids they don't like questions but when they look at the box the deco is inviting it's something that can make them like look forward to the box time when the teacher pull it up they are all curious what's in it just like a present so that's why i decided to wrap it and moreover i was recycling the box so you wouldn't want to step in the class with a with a box of milk, you know, so I had to decorate it so it looked like totally something different and the kids would not even know that what it was a milk box. So I had to use the double side tape, this helped to stick on the box and the, on the wrapping paper so it comes out so clean, nice and smart. So I had to go ahead, paste it, decorate it and then on the bottom I had to use an extra card to increase its thickness so that there won't be a hole as you can see now this time I had to use the actual thick tape that will put it intact as you can see I was trying to put as many layers as I can so that it will never never loosen on the bottom so I went on putting on other edges around to smooth them this looks perfect it looks perfect for our flashcards mini flashcards so this one I can carry it in my car, I can take it wherever I am. So when it comes to arranging of these cards, it will be super super cute because we'll have levels for this card and it will be easier to maneuver and find things that you need as you can see. It's just few but we'll have lots of so just cool. Okay.